Binge Pipe is very surprised that it decided to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, you might as well trust us. Hey there, Cookie Masterson is the name and this game is my game. Eight players? That's double the number of people who will attend Player 5's funeral. And I see we've got some gawkers in the audience, which means I'll be adding an audience bonus to every question. The more audience members get a question right, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really tanks it, that right answer is going to be worth big bucks. And right this way. Question one. First question. Biscuit Masterson. Good one. You know what makes me laugh? Cookie jokes. Oh, I can't get enough of them. Like when people say to me, Chips Ahoy, cookie. Or, um, oh, mind if I call you shortbread? Yeah, that never, never gets old. Which of these people would feel left out of the hilarity because you cannot make an obvious bakery pun using their name? Major League Baseball player Steven Piscotti, Colorado politician John Hickenlooper, popular Christmas immortal Chris Kringle, or French President Emmanuel Macron. Let's see how that shook out. Oh, I'm sure he's never heard a Biscotti joke before. Poor guy, he's, he's missing out. Biscottis, Kringles, and Macarons are all baked treats. There should be a pastry that sounds like Hickenlooper, but sadly, there isn't. Oh, now all I want are Hickenloopers. Why is life so unfair? And how'd the audience fare? Good news! This audience is clueless. That means that right answer is worth even more. Buy yourself something nice. This one's called a nice shape. If you decided to start dating shapes, which would offer the most stable relationship? The mysterious square, the charming rhombus, the passionate circle, or the hunky triangle? Hope you like what you picked. Because all their sides are connected, triangles are the strongest and most stable of the shapes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why they cut pizza into triangles. Because it will never, ever let you down. Why don't we do it with three? Next. No, man's an island. And it's time for this or dat. I'm going to read you seven things, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's the name of an island or a TV detective duo. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between an island or a detective duo. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Good. Trinidad and Tobago.
again. Wow, that was mostly unimpressive. But player eight, uh, tough one. You failed to live up to my already very low expectations. Proactive measures have been enacted for customer fidelity. Looks like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Using the screw makes it harder for all the other players to answer in a variety of pleasurable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <coughs> Great, thanks. What a mutually satisfying solution! I don't need you anymore. Here we have horsing around. Imagine Sports Center were Sports Centaur, and uh, they they were all all the centaurs, all the sportscasters. Ugh, this is too much setup. Just tell me which of these punchlines contains a portmanteau. The Colts are a shoe in She sells saddles on the sidelines. So watch out. Player eight decided to screw. You don't mind reading the fine print, right? Okay, what'd you pick? Could be worse, you know, in theory. <laughs> a portmanteau blends two words or titles together, a la Eli Manning and Man Horse. And if you cross Peyton Manning with a mule, you get something, something. He's, he's old. Way to screw player eight. This is your cash now. Feast your eyes upon this. Hip hop and we don't stop, but we should. What would the name of the Work It singer look like if you were to flip it and reverse it? Janim Ikin, Ijailb J. Iram, Nuskach Tanaj, Ro, Ta'ila Isim. So what'd you pick? The 2002 hit Work It was written and performed by Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. But her lyrics are so killer, she should be called Missy Felony Elliot. You know what I mean? No? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Round one is over. Let's see those scores. Currently, player eight is in the lead. Down here. These players could use a little help, and there's no shame in that. Looks like someone needs a little more help. And don't forget, round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be afraid to use them. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. This is a real party now. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. There is no hiding from Joan of Archaic Language. Oh shoot, I have to remember to call the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. Yeah, they they haven't approved my permit to build an above ground koi pond in my driveway. Well, let me let me do this question first. Translate this old-fashioned English into some new-fashioned English. I set my ewer thither on the settee. I set my water pitcher over there. What's this? <laughs> Player two dropped a screw on you guys. Your answers are on the go. What'd you guys pick? Huh, this one resonates with me. Weirdly. <laughs> it's the most boringest one and the most correctest. So sue with me. Expert screwing player two. I believe this belongs to you. My colleagues and the Take a good look at 
acting coy. So before I make this phone call, I want to practice a little because I get nervous on the phone. What? I am human, people. If the lady from the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District denies my permit for an above-ground koi pond in my driveway, what would be a factually inaccurate thing to scream before dissolving into tears? Koi come in a variety of colors, not just orange. Koi can live over 200 years and be cons- Oh, this'll be good. <laughs> Player 4 just screwed the room. Maybe it's time to rebrand. Hope you like what you picked. Maybe try... cheating? <laughs> Look, nobody knew it, so let's skip the formalities. It would be wrong to scream that at the lady who has paid minimum wage to answer the phone at the Water Reclamation District because koi have teeth in the very back of their throat, not in their wonderful, roundy mouths. <laughs> For more interesting facts on koi, please visit me. I'm lonely. And I know a lot about Koi. That screw is a good move, player four. Have some cash. Oh, and I see we have some new names. It really suits you. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Up next, where do I take these rock blasting explosives? And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a Snare Clutch Mr. Get those typing fingers ready because the longer you take, the less money you make. Okay, focus up. Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what movie title it rhymes with. Go blow the far door's quarry. And don't let that punctuation fool you. There's this young smuggler. far, far away. Alone, a space battle tale. Okay, what was it? Oh, and as for you guys, I saw what you typed in, and um, I want to thank you for it. You know, people ask me all the time, Cookie, what's your favorite part of the game? And I'll say something like, oh, I love this or that questions. Total garbage. Because you and I both know this is my favorite part of the game. The FU file. Because I know that when you type that in, what you're really saying is, I love you. Anyway, I know you want the full Easter egg treatment, so, uh, look at your device. Okay, back to the game. Na, 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 na. Coming up next, a question with a John Oliver twist. Last week tonight airs at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays. So if the show were broadcast live, what city would actually see last week while watching last week tonight? Lima, Moscow, Honolulu, or Juneau? Let's see how that shook out. Say aloha to some points. <laughs> this one escaped you. In Moscow, a live broadcast at 11 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time would air 7 a.m. on Monday. So anyone watching would be seeing a show from last week. For anyone looking for a good laugh to go with their blinis and kasha, don't talk to me before I've had my kasha. Sabes que es lindo. 
Here's one I like to call back to the koi stuff. Okay, I've I put this off too long. Time to make the call. But wait, I forgot. Who am I calling again? The lady at the Municipal Water Reclamation District? The lady at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District? The guy at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District? Or the guy at the Municipal Water Reclamation District? Who picked what? Close-ish. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's the name I have in my phone contacts. Hi, you've reached the Water Reclamation District. Please call back during regular business hours. Oh, thank God. I can just leave a message. Ow. Time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Letter count. I mean that pretty literally. Get ready to count letters. Good luck. That's the game! Congratulations, Player 2. I'm sweating that was so close. Wait, no, it's it's all that pig gristle I had for lunch. Either way... You don't know Jack! the relish that is coming through in this buttercream frosting. But I'm not tasting enough hot dog in the cupcake itself. Okay class, start pedaling faster. We're going up a hill now. Really push it. We're going up, up. Watch out. Oh God, somebody just opened their car door and we just got doored. Okay, throw yourself off the bike. Good, good. Now, now call an ambulance. Hey, I'm Nolan. Follow me as I travel the world with